All right, YouTube, I'm back at you again. Look, we are doing something again today. Haven't shown you before, but um, as promised, I told y'all Big Brownie was gone. I'm at my spot where my table is, and we're going to do some work today. Some Garmin Alpha collars. They need to be cleaned. They need to be updated with software, and I'm going to just take you through the whole process. But I told you Big Brownie was gone. Now I'm going to show you my new pristine table, all right? stainless steel i decided i was gonna go with something that was gonna last me and it was not gonna rush so we decided to go to a stainless steel table it's a stainless steel table it is the right height and we're gonna show y'all as what we do today with our collars this is my collar bag it's just easy to carry it in a, in a book bag as you can see i'm gonna open this up for you there's all my collars all right easy and then my my controls up here we're gonna show y'all that in a minute I just got me some dishwashing liquid in here and I got some water out the hose, but I also got this up here because I brought some hot water from the inside. I know nothing cleans like soap and water, but guess what? Nothing cleans like hot soap and water. All right, so y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how I clean my collars. These are an investment, as you all know, anybody who's bought these collars before, y'all know the breakdown of the collar. This is a, this is a GPS and push a gps tracking collar as well as training collar all right so i'm gonna show you how i go through my whole process of cleaning them i like to be able to have them clean every time i put them on my dog so i'm gonna spread them all out and we can go from there so i got all different colors and every one of these colors are named in my um in my handheld so i have eight adult dogs have eight collars right now all different colors I got red, blue, yellow, green, orange, brown, and silver, all right? I like to have the different colors on different dogs and I can name them the same thing. So, I mean, cleaning collars is pretty simple. These collars are all waterproof. Um, so dipping them in water won't hurt them. All right, so First of all, I take collars and I, what I'll do is I'll literally put them in the, in the soap and water and I come out and I'll scrub. I mean, I don't have a problem scrubbing them. All of that junk and if you know anything about dogs, it seems to me that dogs love to get in mess. It could be ugly mess, but most time it's stinky mess, all right? so. What you gotta do is come here with these collars and clean them because if you know like I know, these collars are an investment, y'all. So all the gunk you can get off of them, the better. Um, so these are the these are the ends of the points right here, if you want, if you will. These are the points that you actually charge your collars. So you want to make sure those are clean. If you have an issue sometimes with your collar not charging or the contacts not. Make sure you clean your contacts, all right? Then I just simply rinse this off, just like that. And I check it again to make sure she's fully clean like I need it to be. Then I'll come dry it off. That's pretty much what it is to cleaning collars, y'all. Not gonna bore you with that, but I just wanted to show you an easy way to clean your collars. I do this when I'm traveling. We'll do it in hotels. You know, I always keep me something to clean my collars with because, you know, the first thing you, in the morning when you get ready to load dogs and put collars on dogs, the first, the last thing you want to do is, is touch some stinky mess, all right? So that collar is clean, smells good, the whole nine yards. I'm done with that one, all right?
all right guys i got everything all cleaned up my table nice and dry now all my collar cleaned up um i do want to show you a couple things uh number one this is my original system this is an alpha 100 <clears throat> still works fine um not a problem with it this is my alpha 200 um got this last year i love them both as you can see they're both coming on now you can see the the size difference between the 200 and the 100 both of them work fine i love them both don't get me wrong they are just great systems um it's tracking and training for your dogs um one thing i can tell you when i do start up my collars i normally start my collars first which means i turn them on first i turn all of my collars on also another trick i do i know um when i go out to hunt or to train or just just drop dogs or run dogs for exercise i have a, a double-sided dog box i have a double-sided trailer i keep my males on one side and i keep my females on another so what i do is when i take my collars off i know the colors that i have for my females and the colors i have for my males so this is a female collar this is a female collar <clears throat> this is a female collar and this is a female collar so those are my females right there all these are my male collars all right i just i know it myself it's not a particular color but i just know these are my females these are my males now the other thing i do before i let a dog go out if you notice i don't know if you can see it or not on the um alpha 200 i actually have diamond that color is purple so what i want to make sure is even though all of them sound just alike i have the t is for tone the C is for continuous correction, and the V is for vibrate, all right? So what I do is hit tone. If it beats, and the, if you see that green light, that means that it, it is actually getting the signal that it should get from this, all right? Then I change to the next dog, Jet. Jet is gray, so which it should be this color, okay? It's not, just, it's not doing it just yet, so we gotta give it a time to actually connect all right we're going to penny penny is this green collar all right we hear it on the green collar we good on that smoke is the red collar all right we got on we got smoke bossy is this collar all right hoss is the blue collar don is the orange collar mocha is the tan collar all right so all the way around let's check jet again so jet is now actually you can hear jet's collar tone so you know the tone is acting you know the collar is actually talking to your particular handheld all right that's the way it works of course if you've never seen the mapping system the mapping system is great but we're going to also show you today how to update this stuff all right y'all stay tuned so one noticeable difference you can see with um the alpha 200 as opposed to the alpha 100 you see this is kind of dim and you may wonder what in the world why is my stuff so dim but when you turn it on if you just hit the power button on this if you just tap it it actually gives you your dimness so there you go you can bring it to 100 it was on 50 so what you want to do i like my stuff bright so i can see it so as you notice if i go back now if i go back now i'm I'm nice and bright like I should be. So again, that's just by tapping the power button on the side. Just tap it one time and your brightness comes up. I learned this the hard way. I had to actually call somebody to figure out what I was doing wrong. So just wanted you to know that. Also on these collars, do not let them sit all summer long if you don't run your dogs all summer long. At least bring them up and allow updates to be run. I'm gonna run updates on these collars today. So I just wanted you to see that. Um, the great thing about the great thing about the alpha 200 if you run updates is the alpha 200 can run its updates via wi-fi so we're gonna go to the home screen and i certainly hope you all can see all of this we're gonna go to setup and we already on wi-fi we should be on wi-fi yes and if you see this it's already downloading the software that it should be downloading so it's actually all ready updating to software version 4.30 all right so that's what you want it connects wirelessly no wires at all to connect 
on the Alpha 200, all right? The Alpha 100, you still have to use your wires and connect to your computer. That's why I have my computer out here. So we're gonna show you that here shortly. All right, y'all, so guess what? I'm gonna put y'all on some valuable, inf valuable information right now. Um, if you see this, I want you to understand that you can definitely use um, the power cords that come with your collars. But what I did was I tried to simplify it so I can do more than one collar at a time. As a matter of fact, I can charge my entire system at once. Um, if you notice, this is a 12 USB port um, adapter and these all are 3.5 amp. Um, most of them are 3.5 amp, but guess what? They're all charged because everything uses USB, all right? So these USB connections, and I know you say they're all together, so what do you do when you get ready to um, charge one collar or update a collar? So if you notice, on the Garmin Alpha, the original Garmin Alpha 100, what happens is you can actually turn it off. When you open this up, here's the charging port, all right? Charging port is here, it's old school. So what I do here, I can take this off, and when I take it off, I don't know the other end. So what I have done to save myself some steps, I've traced it, all right? This particular one with this tape on it is also the one down here when I find it with tape on it, all right? So that way I know I have the right one when I'm using this to update, all right? I'll get back to the charging part later, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna log on to my PC and I'm gonna find the Garmin software. We're gonna take this taped in, and these are all my collars. If you can see, they need to be updated, all right? So what we're gonna do, I register all of my stuff, so I won't have an issue, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually do the Alpha 100. We're gonna update that first, all right? If it needs to update, it looks like it does not, but we're gonna just check anyway. So when I plug it up, you know you have the right connection because it starts coming on by itself. I did not hit the power button. It does it by itself, all right? So it's coming on. I have to change my bird's eye, but that's fine. So I come here to Alpha 100. It, it says I'm up to date, but it says it's not connected yet, all right? So we know it's there now. Says we found a new device. And the reason that this is not being found, you all, I just thought about it, is because um, I have a new serial number because my screen was cracked on my old one. And because of that, they I paid for a new one to be sent out to me from Garmin, all right? So um, that's why I didn't notice it right off. All right, I'm registering this one. It looks like you're replacing the device you already had, which is great. This is my Alpha 100. With the new serial number, it's just that simple. Now it's registered, and guess what? It's up to date, which it should be. It came from the factory. But we're gonna check it just again, just in case. That's fine, it's up to date, all right? Now, what we can do is we can disconnect this, and that's pretty much how you update the alpha system, just the handheld. Now, to go back to the collar itself, what you need to do is plug this in, and we're just gonna take the blue collar, close this, and we're gonna go back. We're gonna connect this, just like this. All right, see it's red. That means we have the right connection here. So we're doing the blue mini collar software update is available but it's not connected yet guys so we got to wait till it connects give it a minute it'll pop up on the screen here shortly okay when you hear that that means it's connected as you notice it says garmin here and all we do is come here and hit install i accept it, it tells me do not plug do not unplug it Installation will take a few minutes. Do not unplug the device from the computer while the updates are in progress. And if I'm ready to start, I come down here and hit continue. So now it's updating the software, it's downloading the files. And guess what? 
version 3.60 is just that easy all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this and we're gonna eject this so now that collar is now updated all right so now we just disconnect from here and we're gonna go with the brown collar all right you see now the blue is gone it's not it doesn't have a one there so we're gonna connect the brown collar the red light is on so we know we have it it just beeped we come in here to brown because it notices by serial number but until it beeps again it's not connected and you will actually see garmin over here so you have to give it a few minutes and you'll know because you'll hear it beep but sometimes i try to force it a little bit patience if you like contents like this guys look let me tell y'all something i love messing with dogs i love messing with the outdoor stuff i even upgrade my stuff if i don't upgrade my stuff on the outside i up the, I upgrade it on the boat in the garage i just like being outdoors guys but if you like stuff like this what i ask you to do is like comment and share please tell somebody about featherston family outdoors you just heard it beep as i was talking so now it should be connected as you see it, it just got connected i hit install i hit continue and now it's going through and updating the software i have to do this six more times guys but guess what when you get in the field all the bugs you'll have all the issues that you have a lot of times it's resolved if you just do your updates so make sure you do your updates um and make sure you're ready to go when it's time to go in the field so we're gonna update this software and i'm gonna show you how i charge all of my callers at once and we're looking to have a great rabbit season if you see it does not take that long to update your callers it takes longer to find it than it does the update. So now the version 3.60, this collar is already up to date. What I love about this software is this. I can eject that, then I can come back home. If you notice, my blue one has been done and my brown one, but the other six still have to be done. So you already know by a glance what has been updated. So that's what you want, and that's how you want to keep your stuff up to date. So while we're waiting, let me show y'all my hounds close up this is my boy don that right there is jet that's mocha mocha is jet's sister can't you tell all right here's penny come here penny this is penny my girl penny that is bossy all right that's my boy smoke and you got my girl diamond coming that's diamond right there all right I guess you can tell I like black and tan. I'm partial to black and tan. And I got one more missing. Come here, Hoss. So Hoss is back by the trailer over there chilling. This is my boy Hoss, all right? So listen, he loves to sit down when I call him, which is a great dog. So look, spend time with your dogs. My dogs love me. They love to pack together. I like to be out here with them in the yard because they get used to listening to my voice. And it's a great thing to be able to spend time with dogs. You might've had a bad day at work. You might've had a rough day just going on, but guess what? My dogs give me a break. I can take my mind off of me and put my focus on them. So I just love to see them be healthy and happy. And they love me and I love them right back. They, they love to run ravage y'all. And this is just what they like to do. They're bred for that. So I'm thankful to be an owner of some great beagles. God has blessed me tremendously over the years to have great beagles. So I'm just trying to show you what I do, guys. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. I've been doing it over 20 years. And I thank God I can still do it. Y'all stay tuned. I promise, guys. Look, I showed you, I told you I was going to show you this multi-port USB adapter, power adapter. And what it does is you just plug it into one plug. So the great thing about it is you only need one outlet for this. And then you can take your connection, which I've done, I've tied it with a USB tie, and you can come here and you can plug them all up at one time. And it makes it a beautiful thing because now you can charge all your collars at once with one outlet. Works well when you're traveling, when you're in the hotel, or when you're just at home. I mean, you know, who wants to sit there and wait for each, every two collars to charge when you can charge them all at once 
you can literally set it and forget it. The great thing about these collars is they don't overcharge. So when it's full, it just stops charging and just has what they call a trickle charger. Now all these call, collars, if I had this plugged up, I'd be ready to charge all of my collars. Also, I have four more available so I can literally charge my handhelds as well, all right? Everything in one setup, this has been a lifesaver for me. So I just want to show it to you guys. I mean, you know, I try my best to help because I've been in this game for quite some time. I just try to show what I know to help guys out, all right? And then ladies. Okay. Um, Okie Dog Supply showed me this in Oklahoma. If you don't know, if you're in the rabbit hunting game and you don't know Mike and his wife, you ought, you ought to get to know them. They're really good people. Also, um, I want you to show, I want, they showed me this trick. So if you notice on this Garmin collar, this part, the antenna itself, the antenna itself is simply for your training. This is for your training. This is how it gets the buzz. This is how it gets the, the electronic, the electric impulses, whatever. All right, this is for your training. This is your GPS receiver, all right? So you don't want your GPS receiver riding under the dog's neck. You always want it on top of the dog's back, all right? If you notice when you buy your collars, it comes with zip ties, all right? This is what I was shown and it works great for me. Um, basically, you're gonna have to probably drill a hole in your collar. If you drill a hole here and you zip tie it, your antenna will ride on top of your GPS receiver and your dogs will always have the antenna up just like this. This is what you want. So you want the GPS receiver on top of the dog, behind the dog's neck between his ears and you want your antenna riding up like that. All right, so I just want to show you guys that. That's what zip ties will help you with. Hope I've shown y'all something that can help you this season. Listen, hope you all know what this is. This is Featherson Family Outdoors. You definitely take care of yours.